Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out as part of Windows 11 build 26020 through the Canary channel and build 23612 through the dev channel. I will also be showing you some improvements that Microsoft didn't even mention in the official changes. Now, these changes are not tied to any specific version of the operating system. As such, Microsoft can choose to add them to the stable version or remove them completely. Okay, now let's see what's new on the preview builds that Microsoft released in January 3rd, 2024. First, I'm going to highlight what's new on voice access because Microsoft has been adding some improvements to this feature and these changes are available on build 26,020 and build 23,612. So on voice access, the company now added support for more languages, as you can see in this list. Also, it is now possible to create voice shortcuts. So basically it allows you to create custom commands that you can tie to many different actions. So for example, if you want to create a new one, you click this button and then in here you type what you want to say and then just choose the action and complete filling out the blanks. And you can also add them to the shortcut groups and then just click the save button and that will create a new shortcut. And then the next time that you use voice access, using a specific command that you created will complete the action that you configured. Also, Microsoft is adding support for multiple displays, something that was not available before. Now let's look at all the changes that Microsoft is rolling out with Bill 26020. First, let's look at Narrator because Microsoft has now added previews for natural voices. And what that means is that when you install a new natural voice on the computer, you will be able to have a sample of the natural voice before adding them to the system. And to do that, when you go to Narrator's voice, here, when you click the Add button, you will see a list of the available languages. And when you select any of the languages, you will be able to get a preview before downloading and installing. If you have a computer enrolling to the Canary channel, you will still be able to access apps like Warpad and the People app. However, the company is no longer including these apps into clean installations. And on future updates, the company is going to remove the apps from existing installations. Also, the Steps Recorder is being deprecated. And when you open the app, if you happen to use the app, you will notice a new banner that lets you know that this app has been deprecated. Also, recently, Microsoft introduced a new energy saver feature. And when you turn that on now on a desktop computer, for example, you will notice that there is a new icon letting you know that energy saver is turned on on the computer. And if you turn that off, you will see that the icon goes away. Now let's jump into the printer settings because in here now there is this new setting that allows you to pause and resume print jobs that are in the queue before you have to use the control panel settings but now they're built in into the settings app. As part of Windows 11 build 26020 I also wanted to show you the new changes for the share interface but for some reason on my installation it's not working and it crashes as you can see right here but basically now the uh, share interface will show you apps that you can share it with based on your account for example if you're using a microsoft entra id you will see the microsoft team but the paid version to share file or a specific document. But if you're using a Microsoft account, you will see the free version of Microsoft Teams and the list of apps that you can use to share a specific content. Also, if we go to the nearby sharings page, you will now notice that we have an option to rename the PC through this interface to make it easier to find the computer that is sharing the file on the network. Of course, you can always do the same thing through the home page with the rename option or going to the about page, which is this option right here. OK, now let's jump into Windows 11 build 23612. And on this preview, there are now a lot of changes, 
but there are some significant improvements. For example, now the lock screen will include a new widget to show the uh, weather, as you can see at the bottom. This is still a work in progress, and in my case, I'm not seeing all the elements, but that's how that widget looked like on the lock screen. To see a more complete widget, I'm showing you this screenshot from Microsoft that shows how that widget looked like. Now, let's look at the other things that Microsoft did not mention in the official changes. One of those changes is the inclusion of a new show incoming meetings setting on the star settings page. And that basically will show you upcoming meetings from Microsoft Teams on the recommended section of the start menu, which is in this section right here. Also, as noted on this X post, Windows 11 build 23,612 also includes a new hover menu for Copilot that unveils things that you can do with elements that you might have copied into the clipboard. For example, if you select some text and you now hover over the uh, Copilot button, you will get this context menu to rewrite, summarize, or send directly to Copilot. On the other hand, if you copy an image to the clipboard, let's open the snipping tool and let's create a snip. Now this is copied to the clipboard and when we hover over the copilot button, we can see that we have some actions that we can get to through the context menu, including remove background, upscale the image or send directly to copilot. For the sake of this video, let's just like select the upscale image and see what happens. Okay, at this time, nothing is happening, but this is a feature that Microsoft is working on for Windows 11. And that's it. Those were pretty much the most significant improvements that are not rolling now with Windows 11 build 26,020 and 23,612 in the counter channel and on the dev channel. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.